going to rip this sheet in half. This is going to be uh, the transom, which is two pieces of three quarter glued together. And we'll rip this, make both sides. So you saw me rip the sheet down the middle, so now it's 2 by 8 um, This is my plans right here. I'm going to cut this one side out and a seat out of this sheet and same for the others and then I'm going to smash these together, glue them up, but uh, first let's cut them out. I did, I cut this pattern out of half inch plywood according to my plans. So it's easier to work with just half a piece. Um, Cause then wait, you only have to lay it out once and you can just flip it over. So I already penciled this, but um, we trace around that, put it right back to the center line, trace around that, and now I'm going to cut this out. I also have to put a bevel on the bottom, 12 degrees. So let me start by cutting that out and then we can use this to put on top of the other sheet and uh, we'll have a perfect match. These sheets are going to be made up just like this. Well, I have this saw uh, set to the 12 degree angle. I'm going to cut this other one. side.
I have my two pieces inside and the outside and I'm getting ready to uh, laminate those together but before I do that I gotta do a couple things let me show you this is what I have this bottom bevel is 12 degrees the side is cut at 7 and this side to the bottom is 30 degrees so I want to put a notch this is going to be my inside of the boat piece and I have a scrap of uh, this is what my chine is going to look like this is the dimensions it's two inches across here um, and that is 30 degrees on both sides and the way I want this to sit uh, I also have a 12 degree bevel on there and that's seven going across the back so the idea of that is you need the transom tilted back a little bit for the outboard motor and that's the way that operates best and the seven degrees I have on the side has this chine come out kind of square if it didn't have that it would it would tilt in a little bit too much so because the boat widens out as it uh, gets to the middle ship so I'm gonna create a notch in this inside piece so the chine's just gonna fit in there when I put the sides in so I'm just gonna trace that out right in that corner and cut that out something like that and it wants to go back at it at an angle it wants to go back at that same 12 degree angle So when I cut that, this has to go back at the same. That's not a square cut, that's a little, that's tilted back at seven degrees also. All right, here's the plan on, that I'm going by. So that's the notch we just created in the corners for the chine. Uh, next thing we need is this transom brace, which is gonna stiffen up the transom and also provide a place for the back seats to sit on top of. And it's three inches wide by two layers of three quarter. Those are glued together. It has a 12 degree bevel on the back and it's 12 inches from the floor of the boat to the top of the brace. So let's install that now. Okay, so that calls it to be 12 inches off the 
bottom of the inside to the top. This is the piece right here, three inches, two layers of three quarter, 12 degree bevel on the back, same as the bottom here. That's going to get glued and screwed right there. This is the bottom. So I got a series of holes laid out about six inches apart and I'm just gonna leave this right here so I can get an idea of the angle I started out I'm going right in the center of where this is gonna wind up so I'm just gonna use this brace that already has my degree on it just as a guide to keep about that angle Good. I'm going to finish drilling those holes. That one I'm going to drill a little deeper. And while I'm at it, I want a nice cut on this too. going to go like that. I'm going to route uh, a little round over on these outside corners. So I got my saw set for 30 degrees to cut that and that second line I put on there that's only about one degree or so so I'm not even going to worry about that as opposed to making a compound cut that's going to get a little extra epoxy so right on my line that's close enough to that let me get the other side okay I'm gonna spread some glue on this stick it down forever Looks like it's got enough on there. I have a, two screws, just the tip sticking up in there, so help it from not moving around too much. Okay, I'm gonna go. Underneath, tighten those screws.
Then I can flip it over. Okay, I just mixed up another batch of this epoxy and I put a little bit of uh, silica thickener in there just to make it a little bit thicker than it was. See if I mix up enough. like it's the right consistency. In the past I put it on uh, a lot thicker like with a notch trowel but I think that was too much glue. This looks like the right amount. in the old holes. Got a bunch of clamps on there now. Got all these holding the center down, 
all those clamps around the outside edge. Done.